the purpose of testing to guide diagnosis, that's very limited for COVID. We don't have a treatment for COVID. So what we are treating for COVID is not the disease, but the symptoms of COVID. We want to avert the spread of infection by doing what I call contact tracing. Who were you in close contact with? And then test the contacts of those close contacts and so on. So this is what South Korea did for COVID. And any confirmed infections were quarantined. But when the epidemic has reached a stage where we think there are already millions of people with the disease, contact tracing just becomes infeasible. So what happens when we don't understand the disease? We prepare for the worst case. The way we've tried to learn about this disease is completely wrong. You don't just test the sickest population. You test a representative set of the population and then figure out how contagious this, this disease is how deadly this disease is, and then based on that information, make policy decisions. Now I'm poised to, uh, to do uh, this testing in collaboration with Los Angeles County Public Health Department. So we're gonna run our first pilot test in about 10 days. And if that is successful, we will be repeating this uh, every two weeks. If you email me and say, hey Neeraj, I wanna get tested, the answer is no. Uh, you have to be part of this research study and recruited in this research study uh, to be tested. The last purpose of testing is to figure out who is immune. So to explain that, there are two types of tests. What a PCR test does is you take a swab from your throat or from your nose and they, they test that swab for RNA from the virus. What that tells you is you have an active infection. There's another test called a serologic test or an antibody test. When you have a virus or a bacteria in your body, your body tries to fight it by producing these immune cells called antibodies. And these antibodies for a lot of people are actually successful in fighting the virus. Once you are virus negative and antibody positive, your risk of getting COVID or your risk of giving COVID to someone else is very low. So you can now go on the front line, take care of the elderly, take care of patients who have COVID, etc. Re-enter the workforce, be at a restaurant, serve meals. That's kind of what the, what the vision is for the last uh, part of the project. At the same time, when I'm planning to do the study, I have another group of scientists working on trying to validate these tests. I'm actively fundraising for it solving logistic challenges, solving research challenges, solving scientific challenges, these tests are very new, and solving uh, ethical challenges on how do we communicate about these tests, their results, and so on.